Welcome to African News Roundup. My name is Lucy. Starting off this segment, the President of South Africa and Kenya said on Wednesday that they have resolved the long-standing visa dispute and Kenyans will now be able to visit South Africa visa-free for up to 90 days in a calendar year. This is basically fair because South Africans already get free visas on arrival in Kenya while Kenyans were charged and required to produce proof of sufficient funds and return flight ticket. Now, this is a great move to be honest because because unity in Africa starts with little moves like this. Also, I hope this agreement doesn't bring another cause of xenophobia and make South Africans think that they're coming to take their jobs from them. But either way, this is a great incentive and the new agreement is set to take effect on the 1st of January 2020. Next up, at least four people have been killed and a dozen more injured following a blast at the popular market in Nigeria's southeastern state of Anambra. The cause of the blast is not yet known, but this could be as a result of the chemicals and flammable substances, some of which are most are not regulated and are locally made, also not stored properly. That is enough for the incident to occur. And really, a regulatory body should be put in place in order to prevent cases like this. And finally, after the regional leaders held the peace agreement between Ethiopia and Tigray region, the World Health Organization revealed that there is no food or medicine in the Ethiopian region of Tigray, despite the signing of the ceasefire last week. Now, the United Nations has accused Ethiopia for using starvation as a weapon of war in Tigray, where it says a humanitarian blockade puts 90 percent of the population at risk which brings me to question how long will this peace agreement last isn't this the major causes of why there was war in the first place how come food and medicine are that difficult in reaching people of tigre i hope this doesn't breed another war between them well that's all i have for you on african news roundup until next time do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you